Our Stoller family estate camera there in Dayton. Lots of blue skies, just kind of some thin high clouds overhead. Current temperature 47 degrees out there. And here's what it looks like in the South Salem Hills. Our Willamette Valley Vineyards camera. Also lots of blue sky and sunshine there. Not quite as breezy as you head further south down the valley. Uh, as you can see gusts there just in the teens. Let's take a look at our peak gusts that we've seen so far today. So like I mentioned, that strong east wind is more widespread throughout the metro area today. So those gusts in the gorge, not quite as strong as they were yesterday, but more of us across uh, the Portland metro are seeing strong wind today. So uh, 45 mile per, mile per hour gusts recorded in Beaverton, as well as in the West Hills. We had a 51 mile per hour gust recorded on that I-205 bridge. PDX close to 40 mile per hour gust there. And you can see west end of the gorge still seeing, of course, the biggest numbers, those gusts in the low 80s there for Crown Point and Rooster Rock. But these numbers last night were in the 90s, so not quite as blustery out there, but of course uh, still pretty strong. You wouldn't want to have a picnic outside in the gorge right now. So Portland metro area still under a wind advisory. This goes through tomorrow morning with those gusts expected uh, to remain around 45 plus miles per hour. And then you can see highlighted in red here, west end of the gorge under a high wind warning through tomorrow morning uh, with even stronger gusts, of course, expected out there. So the rest of the day today in Portland looks like this. Just very gusty, but sunny and dry. Those temperatures will be topping out in the upper 40s. And unfortunately, that wind not really going to be letting up overnight as well. Just going to be cold and breezy. We'll be once again dropping down through the 30s late tonight. Let's walk through our graph forecast model here. I mentioned the clouds, those low clouds. We've got a lot of uh, cold air that's kind of pooling into the central portion of the state. So that's kind of... Uh, kind of trapping the low clouds there in some areas. So uh, if you're around Bend or Northeast Oregon, going to be partly cloudy today. Meanwhile, those of us west of the Cascades seeing mostly sunny conditions, just breezy. And that takes us through Friday morning, still very sunny for us through the Cascades and west of the Cascades. And here's Friday evening. Again, not much change here. Saturday morning, we maybe start to see a few more thin high clouds pushing in. And Sunday, you start to see something is approaching offshore. We're eventually going to see some precipitation here in our region on Monday. All right, let's walk through your seven day forecast then here. So again, not much change here uh, next couple of days. Those high temperatures are going to be remaining in the upper 40s. Still going to see that gusty east wind. Sunday will start to bring in a few more clouds. Wind is going to be dying down and that east wind should be gone completely by Monday. In the evening, we'll start to see that rain once again. We'll warm up too, back into the low to mid 50s as we head through Wednesday. But first half of next week, Mia, does look pretty wet.